In the history of glycobiology, probably one of the most important discoveries that really started to attract a lot of interest from outside the field uh, was the discovery in the middle of the last century of the human blood groups. Now, this is a discovery that has had huge implications with respect to understanding immunology, the human immune system, and also it's a discovery that was central for the development of blood transfusions. Of course, the blood transfusion is one of the most important clinical procedures. It turns out that your blood type is determined by sugars. So hopefully all of you know your blood type. Uh, I can tell you mine is O positive. Some of you might be blood type A, some will be blood type B, and some of you might be blood type AB. Well, what it means to be O or A or B or AB is simply what are the structures of the sugars on your blood cells. So for example, as someone who is blood type O, what that means is that my blood cells have this trisaccharide structure on the surface, on the glycoproteins and, and some of the glycolipids. That defines me as blood type O. Now, some of you are blood type A. What that means is that you also have this sugar biosynthesized in your cells, but you have an enzyme that I don't have. That enzyme transfers this new sugar onto the trisaccharide to build a tetrasaccharide. And if you have this particular tetrasaccharide on your blood cells, you're blood type A, by definition. Now, those of you who are blood type B have a slightly different enzyme. Instead of transferring this red sugar, which is N-acetylgalactosamine, your enzyme transfers the green sugar, which is galactose. So when galactose is added to this trisaccharide, you get a tetrasaccharide, which is slightly different, and this is the B tetrasaccharide. So those people are blood type B. For those of you who are really into chemical detail, if you look closely at the structure of A and the structure of B, you'll notice there's a single chemical functional group that is different between these two structures. It's very subtle. So right here in blood type A, there's an N-acetamido group, an N-acetyl group. Over here in blood type B, it's a hydroxy group. That's the only difference. And yet the human immune system is so exquisitely sensitive to structural differences that your immune system can detect the difference between these two instantly. And that's why if you have blood type A and by accident you receive a blood donation from a blood type B donor, your immune system will react against this and reject the blood and that's a disaster. So understanding the structures of the human blood types and what that means to the immune system was absolutely critical for blood transfusions to occur. And by the way, those of you who are the AB blood type, what you have is this enzyme and this enzyme. You got one enzyme from your mother, the other enzyme from your father, and you can make a 50-50 mixture of these two structures. That's what you've got on your blood cells. So that is considered a real classic discovery in the field of glycobiology. Again, dates back to the mid-late uh, 1900s.